And we have our correspondent, Justin Campbell, who has been live in London uh, since all the action started. Early this morning, the bells were tolling. Now it's quiet there, yeah? Yeah, that's right, Daria and James, and exactly what you just described at Windsor Castle, that is what you are seeing here at Westminster Abbey. The crowds are dying down. The national 10 days of mourning have come to an end. There's only one last thing. There will be a private burial service at St. George's Chapel. That will happen, but our cameras are not allowed there. That is only for uh, the royal family. Very few people that will be there at that, but uh, I want to walk you through this week. It has been a week that I've been here. Uh, there's been so many different ceremonies, so many different events that have gone on. Uh, but starting with today, we had the funeral. Uh, there, we had President Joe Biden that was here. Uh, there was 2,000 people that were invited by the royal family, 500 of them uh, foreign dignitaries, uh, the Canadian Prime Minister, other Commonwealth countries, uh, Jamaica, uh, to other Prime Ministers that were here here and security was also a big concern. Uh, they did allow President Joe Biden to bring the beast, uh, but they also asked other foreign dignitaries if they uh, maybe could travel in coach buses and we saw those buses that were here uh, that came to Westminster Abbey. Uh, hearing the bagpipes uh, was just a moment this today. Uh, seeing this ceremony, seeing this funeral, uh, 70 years to mark this she was a monarch here on the throne uh, was just a moment that many people uh, had to get one last impression that they lined the streets they slept overnight they queued for hours to get a chance to see Queen Elizabeth's uh, coffin uh, that was something huge uh, but earlier during the week we were also outside of uh, Buckingham Palace on the Mao uh, there were thousands of people that uh, if we have that video, we can put that video up for you. Thousands of people that were there that brought flowers outside of the gates of Buckingham Palace, left them there. Uh, just, and you would read some of the cards. It was just emotional to see the impact that the Queen had on people here in the United Kingdom and not just here but across the world. Uh, it's hard to even guess how many people traveled from Australia, from uh, Chile, so many different countries just to be here for this moment and to do that. Uh, and for women, for women this is a big moment that uh, due to the succession it may be a long time to come before they have another Queen. So a lot of women that I spoke to here told me that uh, this was a big moment, uh, 70 years that they wanted to be here uh, to pay uh, respect and, and also mourn for Queen Elizabeth. Uh, Daria and James, it, for me to be able to have the opportunity to cover this and this moment and see this in history, uh, it, it, it's been something that has definitely been uh, powerful and, and, and very uh, interesting. Uh, Daria and James? The behind the scenes idea because we're looking at the video and I've seen estimates that two million people are where you are in London two million people in that city uh, how are you moving how are you eating how are you transportation I, must have been it's difficult just unbelievable yeah. how have they handled that It's, it's been very challenging because some of the tubes have been sometimes shut down. Uh, trying to get an Uber to go certain places has been challenging. And even just using your phone outside uh, is hard because the cell phone signals are jammed. But it's been very challenging and then using the bathroom. But uh, people are here. We're here as the media. And uh, we found a way to make it work. And that's something that it just shows how many people wanted to be here for this moment in history. And then I'll ask you, too, because the uh, mayor of London tweeted out moments ago, Sadiq Khan, thanking the hundreds of thousands of mourners, he said, who traveled to London. And also he wanted to give his sincere thanks to all of the law enforcement and the emergency responders that were there yeah. to make sure everything was orderly. Did you get that sense? Did you see a lot of that uh, with the, uh, the organization, the first responders? It looked, from our vantage point, like everything Very moved organized. fairly smoothly. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, it, it, it ran fairly smoothly. There was wristbands for places that you needed to go to get in, uh, security checks at every point, uh, obviously Secret Service. There's so many policemen that you saw uh, around the city, uh, but it did seem to run fairly smoothly for this historic level of event. Uh, it has not happened in 70 years, and I'm sure uh, the population was a very different size and the amount of travel that would have been able to come here uh, back then was very different, but it ran fairly smoothly. I haven't heard of any reports of any uh, major problems, but so far today, especially uh, for the funeral, ran smoothly. What are you going to do? Do you, do you have your, are you going back to your tent? Is that where you're, where are you going to sleep tonight? <laughs> do, you, do you have a place? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I do have a place to sleep, so I, I'll, 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 I'll be, Not that you I'll, I'll definitely sleep. sleep well and I'll sleep long. <laughs> he's, he's finally getting to get to go to sleep. We appreciate your covering this so much, Thank Justin. Thank you, appreciate Justin. It. All right.